What is up guys? Good morning. Today I'm going to bring y'all a full day of eating video and show you guys exactly what I eat on a typical day uh, when I'm prepping for a contest. Now, uh, keep in mind I am a little bit a ways away from the show. I'm 13 weeks out, so this is not a completely crazy, like stringent, no carb, like going up the peak week kind of diet. This is just kind of coming off my off season, getting myself into kind of the mode of dieting, if you will eliminating most of the junk from my diet that I've kind of had in during the off season and really kind of getting back into a disciplined approach of eating good, clean, you know, bodybuilding foods and getting my cardio in on a more regular basis. So um, as the prep moves forward, we'll obviously get a little bit more stringent, but right now uh, what we're doing, we're definitely making progress every day just based on kind of where this is coming from. So um, certainly it, it's working well. We'll ratchet it up here in another you know, week or two, but um, right now, this is kind of what it is. So, um, the my cardio right now, I'm doing five days of cardio um, in the morning for 40 minutes uh, per session. Um, that's pretty much what my cardio looks like. And then I'm training on a six day a week split. So I'm basically doing the old, you know, old school push pull legs, push pull legs, and then rest on Sunday split. Uh, that works very well for me. I'm not saying that's a split for everybody, but um, I'm kind of figuring out my body, what works for me, and kind of how much volume, how much intensity I need to incorporate into those workouts so that I'm pushing myself for maximum growth, but not overtraining as well. So um, could be something to try, but I, I do like that push-pull leg split. But in any case, this day, this video is about a full day of eating. So um, it's, as you can see, it's early in the morning, the sun is just coming up outside. Uh, today is leg day. so. The two days that I don't do cardio typically are on leg day. I usually just do legs. I don't like to have to wear out my legs prior to uh, training them. So uh, usually on, on uh, leg day, I'll get up and I will have my little green drink with my collagen peptides in it. Um, on on non-leg days, I typically do my fasted cardio and I will drink this right after my cardio. Uh, but on leg day, there's no cardio, so I just drink this in the morning as I'm sipping my coffee. So, uh, and what I do put in there, as I mentioned, um, I put a scoop of these, my greens blend, really, really good stuff, my superfood blend. And then also I do a serving of collagen peptides, which is good stuff. So uh, I'll get that in and go ahead and finish that up. And then we will get uh, actually on to meal one here shortly. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to put the macros, uh, complete macros for the day will be listed in the description. Um, and I'll also include them in a slide at the end of the video as well. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that you get uh, notified whenever I drop a new video. I am definitely going to be a little bit more um, diligent in terms of making these moving forward as I'm going into my prep just so I can kind of share with you guys some of what I'm doing and how that's working. Um, so uh, please follow along guys. I appreciate you checking it out and we will see you soon. All right, guys, we are back, and it is breakfast time, meal one, and pretty simple here. And I kind of eat the same breakfast basically almost every day because I like it, and it works well for me. So um, we will do a combo here. That is seven egg whites plus two whole eggs. And, of course, we're going to top it off with my Primal Kitchen organic unsweetened ketchup. This stuff is great. Uh, only 10 calories. Yeah, only 10 calories a serving. Uh, no sugar added, so this is great stuff. I'd like to do a little bit of this on my eggs. Sometimes I'll do some hot sauce, it depends, but uh, I like to hit it up with some type of usually a little low calorie, um, sugar free condiment such as this. So, uh, definitely something if you're a ketchup person, you're trying to cut calories, trying to drop some weight, you might want to take a look at something like this. So, and there are plenty of, plenty of good brands that make this stuff too. Um, so, I do my eggs and then also my oats, uh, good old eggs and oats. So just one serving of old fashioned uh, Quaker oats and one banana on top of that. I put a little cinnamon in there as well. Um, and that is it. And just got my coffee with a little bit of almond milk. And there you have it. So that is breakfast. That's what that looks like. And I do eat fruit. Um, sometimes I'll do a banana on my oats. Uh, sometimes I'll do some frozen berries. This kind of depends on what I'm in the mood for, but I always do some kind of fruit usually, at least for the first half of my prep. As we get closer to the end, I will ultimately eliminate that at some point, but there's no need for that now. Um, kind of what I do basically, and just in a nutshell, when I'm prepping, is I typically keep my protein 
and my car, or excuse me, I'm and my fats, you know, relatively stable. And I'll start out with kind of a moderate amount of carbs. And then as I go through my prep and I need to lower my daily caloric intake, I'll typically just start chipping away at those carbs. Um, right now I eat carbs with pretty much all my meals, uh, at least the first four meals of the day. My fifth meal, I usually will have maybe a smaller amount of carbs than my last meal will be basically just protein uh, with some you know, some good fats in there as well. So um, the carbs at some point will be centered primarily just around my like, pre and post workout and intro workout. But for now, we've, you know, we're able to get carbs in throughout the day, which is awesome. So um, we're going to get this breakfast done. Hope you guys have a great day and we will be back with you soon for bill number two. All right, what's up guys? We are back. Just finished prepping uh, some sweet potatoes. I'm gonna show y'all how I do my sweet potato, uh, tater tots, fries, whatever you wanna call them in my uh, uh, air fryer here. Uh, so typically what I'll do is, and I'll do some food prep, I'll take a bunch of sweet potatoes, I'll peel them, dice them up, and kind of put them in a bag so they're ready to grab, weigh and measure whenever I wanna have sweet potatoes. From my air fryer and the way i make these this is my pre-workout meal i'm about to train some legs so i've got about 250 grams of raw sweet potato in here and i will season this thing with about a half tablespoon of avocado oil i use the cap and just fill up about halfway it's about a half tablespoon exactly what i need and then in terms of seasoning a little bit of pink himalayan sea salt a little bit of black pepper, some garlic powder, throw that on there. And this, the, uh, the, the toaster oven, excuse me, the air fryer is heating up. I've got it at 400 uh, degrees, it's preheating, so give these a good stir, good mix. And I'm going to pop these right in here. And these cook pretty quickly, so you cut them up into about quarter sized pieces like I have there. Basically six minutes at 400, I'll pop them out, give them a little shake, throw them back in another six minutes, and they are good to go. So get those rolling. I'm going to cook this little piece of salmon that I have here, and that's basically just about uh, about eight ounces of salmon. And I've got a little bit of uh, Himalayan sea salt, black pepper, a little garlic powder, and a little bit of dill uh, seasoned on that as well. So we're going to get this going while the sweet potatoes are going, and I will show you the end result here in just a minute. What's going on guys, we are back, food is done, and it's about time to get down on this lunch. So, meal number two, AKA the pre-workout meal. Let's see how it turned out. So, check it out here. You got my uh, the sweet potato fries, and these things came out really, really good. They're not quite crispy fully, but they're just, just the right texture, I think. They're really, really good, I love these things. So, give them a try sometime, but sweet potato fries, the salmon, ready to rock. So, we're gonna get this done, and also, one last thing before I start eating is I've been distracted by my sweet potato fries. But, some my intro workout stuff I want to share with you all as well real quick. So, this is what I drink intro workout. So, while I'm training, and basically what is in here, it's water. I've got uh, two scoops of carb one, which is an intro workout, you know, fast digesting carb. It's about 50 grams total of carbs from the carb one in here. I have 10 grams of creatine monohydrate and one large serving of essential amino acids, EAAs. So that's what I drink during my training. And then as soon as I get done, just kind of while something to sip on while I'm coming home and kind of cleaning up and getting ready to eat my post-workout meal. It's a very small little post-workout shake that I do. This has like a half scoop of carb balloon, so just like, you know, 15 or so grams of carbs, just a little bit, and one big scoop of essential amino acids again. So as you can see, I'm a big fan of the EAAs. Um, so that's what I do the workout. So let's get down to some lunch and we'll see you soon. Peace. What's going on guys? We are back. Workout was a success and it's time for the post-workout meal. I'm pretty tired. So I'm going to sit down, relax, eat my food. Post-workout, I like to, as you saw, I put in for my pre-workout. Sometimes I'll include a little bit of, you know, more healthy fats in that meal. Uh, post-workout, I like to keep it low fat. Um, just basic carbs and protein and let that absorb and get assimilated into my body as quickly as possible. So uh, post-workout here, what we're having is just basically 150 grams of basmati rice and 10 ounces of skinless chicken breast and a little bit of coconut aminos to top it off. So that's it. Very simple, very clean. 
get it in straight to the legs, help us recover. So we're gonna get this meal done and we'll see you soon. What is up guys, we are back and about to eat meal number four. So uh, check this out. Like, uh, like I said, we'll do a little bit less carbs later as the day goes by. So the last one, 150 grams of rice. This one I'm just gonna have about 100 grams of rice, but um, it's a little bit of difference. But what I did add is some asparagus there. As you can see, to add some fiber to keep me full a little bit longer. And then uh, we've got 10 ounces of extra lean uh, turkey breast there. So that's the 99% lean uh, turkey, two five ounce uh, little patties that I made uh, cooked on top of the stove. So uh, that's what's going on right now. And then the rest of our meals for the day will mostly be just protein, veggies, and a little bit of good fat. So um, start we're going to go ahead and eat, and we will be back with you guys shortly. What's going on guys? We are back here and we're ready for meal number five. Uh, and I'm gonna show you my little bedtime snack too. So meal number five is pretty basic. Um, got my, it's a green salad here and I've got some um, red leaf lettuce, cucumber, sun-dried tomatoes, bell pepper, and two uh, hard boiled eggs in there. I used a little bit of Bolt House Farm cilantro and avocado dressing. Uh, it has, I believe, it's 35 calories per serving, so it's a pretty good low calorie dressing that I'll use um, earlier on in my prep. And then just got about uh, 10 ounces of uh, top sirloin and a few little mushrooms that I sauteed on the side and um, some just cooking spray. So some avocado oil cooking spray. So that is my dinner. And then my bedtime snacks, the little thing I like to make up, it's, uh, if you can see this here, basically what that is, I'll show you, it's kind of, it's kind of thick, the consistency, but basically I take about 30 or 35 grams of iso, or whey isolate, mix it with just enough water to kind of make it into like a thicker liquid, and then I stir in, uh, I guess, a couple of tablespoons of organic peanut butter, I'll stir that in really well and I'll put it in the refrigerator to get it a little bit harder and that's kind of a nice treat that I have later on at night and this whole thing will have like 40 grams of protein and like you know whatever 11 12 grams of good fats that are in the um, the peanut butter and some fiber as well so it's, it's got to stick to me and digest and help me build some muscle while I sleep so this will be my bedtime snack but I'm hungry so I'm gonna go ahead and eat my dinner and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll go ahead and put up the macros in the description again thanks for checking it out and please subscribe like the video and hit that notification button so you get updated when I drop a new video and I will see you guys next time it's time to eat have a great day I'm out